we go deep diving into this? <laughs> it is, wow. it's President's Day, but it, oh. <laughs> it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, all right, all right. Here's the thing, he's not going home with any one of y'all. <laughs> Let me just do what I'm supposed to do and stop trying to get their attention because they're not going with you. <laughs> okay? Today is Jerry O'Connell's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. President's Day. Thank you. You got any plans? Uh, well, um, uh, well, what are my plans? I'm 46. I'm going to go get Botox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How old are you? 46. No, no, really. How old are you? <laughs> 46. Mm. Yeah, we, come on, I had to shave a couple off, Mr. That's Greer. Cool. Come on. Well, David, I went to opening night. Mm -hmm. I cannot begin to tell you how much I loved this play. We talked on opening We talked night. on opening yes, I loved it so much. It's so powerful. Um, I couldn't stop talking about it to, to Whoopi and Joy. It takes place in 1944 mm -hmm. uh, on a segregated army base in Louisiana and it focuses on the investigation to the murder of a black army sergeant, whom you play, yeah. masterfully, I might add. On the surface, it's a murder mystery, but it goes way beyond that. Right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, I describe it as an inner <coughs> racial whodunit. I mean, it's all of this stuff that's in, within our race. You know, when I first saw the play in 1982, mm -hmm. usually there was like one black voice, you know, mm -hmm. who was the orator for all, yeah. all people of color. And to see all of these men, <clears throat> different shades, heights, mm -hmm. uh, hues, uh, arguing amongst themselves. Everyone thinks they're right. Yeah. Um, philosophically, culturally, you know, and uh, it, it's, it's a rich, Rue oh, it of is. ideas and emotions. It wasn't a movie too, right? Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. I, yeah. I, I've so seen the story. story yeah. yeah, so oh. the story. <laughs> and, and, you, he and he was in it. And yes. he was in it. He looks the With same. Adolf, you look the same. With Adolf Caesar. Yes, of course. You know that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, yeah. we all in the same dressing yes. room. Oh, Adolf God. was legendary. Oh. First of all, he, his his mama named him Adolf Caesar. Yeah. yeah. So you know you're already in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> So, Blair, you, you play the officer assigned to investigate the murder right. uh, at the base. And growing up, your, your dad was an Army colonel, and you lived on different military bases across the country. That's right. So you were perfectly positioned to be in this play. I would hope so. Yeah. Hope so. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it was amazing, because, you know, I, I, growing up in military bases, we moved around a lot, but I watched my father as this man, this human being, put on this uniform, and it was rare. This was the 60s and... A little older than you, the 60s <laughs> and the 70s. But to have an African American officer yeah. mm -hmm. in the army was yeah. a rarity, much more so in this play in 1944, and mm -hmm. his captain. So, um, you know, he was and is my hero. He's 87 mm -hmm. years old. He came on opening night. He um, came opening night. Yeah, he came opening oh, night with that a and... photograph of yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 that's yeah. right. Oh. Oh. And you embody that role. I oh, mean, you embody you. that role. Thank you. Thank you for being so supportive. Because on opening oh. night, we, I took the bow, and I don't really look at faces <laughs> until the bow. And I see Sonny on the front row. She's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I we was just, I, just, I was really blown away. And, um, and I, I ran up to you, Jerry, also. I was like, oh, my gosh. Because you play uh, the officer who bristles at a black officer of equal rank coming uh, to his base. And I know that is so not you. Well, so you, it was well, so not <laughs> <is> you. <it? laughs> but it was like, it was <laughs> so <laughs> Well, it was just so out of character. I was, I was blown away by the performance. And you've actually said that this play is the most important project you've ever worked on, but that it's been difficult for you at times. Well, I have to give a shout out to our director, Kenny Leon, um, yes. who is also very good friends to, uh, very soon to be one of our next presidents, Stacey Abrams from oh. Georgia. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, he said uh, early on in this process, if you recall, um, he said, you know, I come on this show a lot, and yeah. no offense to past projects I've worked on, usually I'm pushing a pretty dopey television show or something, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's but a little different. Mr. Yeah. Leon said to us, this is going to be the most important thing you work on, and every day, every night we go out there, I think, uh, I, he, he couldn't be more right. It's the mm -hmm. most important thing I've ever worked on. Oh, you're well, terrific in it. Yeah. It's, I mean, I was blown away. 
It also, you know, one of the things that people forget is, that, you know, as a historical piece of information, this is very important because oftentimes you'll see all these war movies on television, or you see, and we're never present. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're ne it's like we were just yeah. sitting around while stuff was happening. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. these are the these are the pieces that people need to know that yeah. these are the this is the fabric of what America is and always has been. That's something yeah. that Charles Fuller mm -hmm. uh, reiterated uh, when the Times recently interviewed him. Really? That he said just what you were saying, that mm -hmm. um, we've always fought and died and supported this country, yeah. and it was very important for him <laughs> and one of the motivations to write this play mm -hmm. and go back to that history that few people know. Yeah. And it feels so relevant, mm -hmm. actually, when you're watching it. Um, but Blair, it's safe to say you have a dedicated female audience, a female following. Is that safe to say? It's safe to say. Um, and when you, you flash a bit of skin at, oh. during the play. Oh. oh. You do. They You're like me changing. You are you now, a damn liar. The crowd, the crowd went so wild. I wasn't a part of it. Um, you were, we were watching you, Sonny. You were like, ah! <laughs> that sounds like her. I know, I was yeah. right in the front row. I'm like, why did they put me here? But um, does that throw you off? Because you rolled with it, but I, I would imagine it happens all the time. Um, the first time. Because my producer went to see it and said it, it happened oh, yeah. her night, too. The yeah. first time it threw me off, and that was Kenny Leon, our director, because, you know, during rehearsal, it says in the script that character Davenport is getting dressed. <laughs> so all during rehearsal, I'm, I have two buttons undone, and I'm going to tie, because yeah. it's a long monologue. I'm trying to figure out how to tie my tie and talk yeah. at the same time. And the last note he gave, he said, you know what, before we went to the theater, I said, I think I'll just unbutton a couple more buttons. <laughs> might, some people in the audience might appreciate that. I was like, all right, I'm going to trust you, brother, because you're Kenny Leon. <laughs> so I didn't expect that the first time. Oh. So now I just try to roll with but it. But now you're enjoying it, I bet. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll with it. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Easy, Jerry. Jerry, calm down. <laughs> so listen, Jerry, speaking of Jerry, I hear that you uh, make it a point to take selfies wherever you go constantly to increase your social media following. No, well, we're here in what New York that? City. <laughs> we're, we're here in New York City, and I've been, people have been stopping me, and I promise to take selfies with anybody. I need followers, everybody. That's what's going on. OK. Where, Wait, uh, Jerry, right. that woman looked like you kidnapped her, man. That last <laughs> All right, so si since it's your birthday, we'd like to help you out. So we have gotten you a gift. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, oh, do it! Do it! Look at this! It's like it's dazzle! It's got my name! Oh, wait, I'm gonna take this photo. Hold on a second. I got, we got the remote here. Are you ready, everybody? Smile. Come on, I want you in there, Sonny. Let's go. Oh, oh. Yes! Yes! I'm going in the audience. I'm doing this. I need these followers. <laughs> you need to catch Soldier's Play because it's an important piece of work and it's a fabulous group of actors yeah. doing amazing stuff. It's at the American Airlines Theater through March 15th. And